So let's go ahead and activate our effect right now. Since your opponent cannot activate cards in the hand or graveyard. Ah, I can finally duel in peace. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. On this first turn, I negated my opponent's ability to play hand traps. What's going on, my boys? YT Dan, back at it again with a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And today is really special, my boy, because I'm going to be showing you my Triple D deck that I'm playing in Master Duel. It's completely different uh, than other people's decks that are just around because I got a bit of a unique type of strategy that's helping me to take advantage of my opponent. It helps me to go around their hand traps and allows me to get in there for game. Honestly, this deck was inspired by my real life TCG Triple D deck. And if you want to see that, my boy, you're going to have to hit the like button and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. But seriously, though, uh, I actually went to my locals this last weekend. And for the first time ever, I changed my deck since returning to Yu-Gi-Oh and decided to play Triple D. And when I played Triple D, I actually paired up against one of the best players at my locals he's actually i think been a national champion at one point or another or has some other titles but this is one of those guys that's like you really want to duel to test yourself and see like where your skills truly lie and i've never got a chance to duel him like just being frank um i never even like ranked high enough in a tournament to get an opportunity to play him because he's playing at the top table but fate had an interesting twist because I said to myself, if I go into this tournament and play the Triple D for the first time and I perform well, I'm really going to take this deck up and unlock the mysteries of this deck. But you've got to show me, Triple D. You've got to show me. And in this duel, it was the most epic knockdown drag out battle and I end up coming out on top. It was an incredible duel. It caught the attention of the whole room. People are standing over us, watching the duel, making live commentary. It was actually super exhilarating and both myself and my opponent got so hyped in the duel. Like we were like, uh, like, I don't know. We were getting into it, my boy, but you gotta watch this video, my boy. It's very interesting in terms of playing this spicy combo. So without any further ado, let's just get into the deck list. All right, my boy. So this is the deck list and it's a pretty unique deck list. It's something you've never seen before. And um, just being real with you, it's got some spice in it that you may have never heard of. So we're gonna start off with this card here. It's called Xyz Import. This card is extremely powerful. In the TCG, is really good because the top monster is this card right here. This card uh, is ridiculous. Basically, his effect is when your opponent activates an effect, I can take that monster and put it on this Xyz monster as a material. Um, Xyz Import does that exact same thing, but in the body of a spell card. And what's incredible about it is that we have a monster that's so powerful with just one exceeds material. So if we can get out our Triple D Wave King High Caesar and use his effect to negate our opponent's special summons, if they still have a summon or they can normal summon or whatever the case may be, exceeds import, take that monster and take any hope of them continuing the game. I learned in that duel against that super strong opponent I had on Sunday that there is so much value in just stealing your opponent's monsters outright. And we don't have double D headhunt in this um, format, like within uh, Master Duel. So since we don't have double D headhunt, Xyz Import is a really good substitute. So this deck focuses heavily around utilizing this card. Go, Triple D, Divine Zero King Rage. This card is really good. Because basically what it does is create miracles for the different dimension demons. First off, if this card is on the field and your life points are 4,000 or less, this monster can gain attack equal to the opponent's life points. Ridiculous. 
if your opponent battles this card, you take no damage. So, you know, if they just hit this guy and he's at zero, you don't take any damage. And then also, while he's in the uh, on the field, you can tribute another monster and give him use two effects that are really broken and a third that, you know, could be pretty cheesy. The first effect is the cheesy one. You can attack your opponent directly. The second effect is the busted one. You can make your opponent not able to use their spell or trap zones. They can't play cards from the spell or trap zone. And here's the final most broken one. Your opponent cannot activate cards in the hand. Your opponent cannot activate effects in their hand or graveyard. So that means hand traps are nullified if you get this off. So basically the the trick in this deck is to summon this card by uh, summon number three or summon number four or, you know, just as long as it's not summon number five because that's when you get in the beer root. Use his effect, attribute a monster, and pretty much at that point your opponent can't use any hand traps. Bam. Got him. Then um, you go ahead and finish up and do a full combo, which I do have a clip showing full combo in rank duels. So, I, you know, I want you to see that and enjoy that spicy video. Um, and then also um, we're running cards in place of DD Griffin. So this deck like kind of mirrors my real life TCG deck. Um, instead of DD Griffin, which is a really good level four uh, pendulum monster. We're gonna play cards like DD Evil because it has a rank eight pendulum scale. And then we're also gonna play two extra copies of DD Cerberus because with these two extra copies of DD Cerberus, you have the ability to, um, you know, pretty much make sure that number one, you always have that option to alter levels to four. And number two, um, it's going to fill in those bodies of four because we need four to go into our main uh, Exceeds monster, uh, which is Triple D, Wave High uh, King Caesar. Now, I'm playing two in this version. Uh, I was originally running a Formula Synchron um, in this slot, but I would say, you know, two is pretty good because we're running Exceeds Import and you can summon back cards like this or some back cards like, um, you know, High King Caesar and use Xyz Import with them, you know, even if they don't have materials on them already. So it's just really good uh, to have like this second copy. And then of course, um, we're running uh, three Allures of Darkness because it's just really good draw power. The idea is to get a hand with unique names and then also put into the graveyard in one turn, your DD Swirl Slime, your Lamia, and your vice typhon if you can get all three of those monsters in the grave in one turn you can end your board on a siegfried on a high king caesar and a gilgamesh at a minimum and i'm sure you'll have one or two cards in hand or an extra card on the field depending on how you played it so it's really really strong um the thing is, I'm not playing hand traps in this version. I didn't play hand traps in the version I played in the TCG either. Basically, because the hand, playing hand traps kind of messes up the synergy of having DDD names or dark monsters for Lure of Darkness. And I think it's more important to be able to continue playing if your opponent has a hand trap, it, uh, rather than having a hand trap to deal with your opponent's cards because this deck can play into fields. Like I built the deck to literally play in the Sword Soul and I did really good playing into Sword Soul. Like told the champ to go first, played in and broke the board with DDD. Woo, man, it's a spicy deck, my boy. So enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, keep it dang. Ooh, this is a great hand. This is a really good hand. All right, so let's go first. Let's double D swirl slime and go right into the Genghis. Uh, 
Actually, I'm gonna send Rage to the grave this time. I don't think they have Crow, but I mean, if they got Crow, they got Crow. But I mean, I don't think they got it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You know, Crow would be devastating, but you know, if they had it, they would have played it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? All right, so I summon, and then we're gonna activate this card, and then we're gonna pick go, and then we're gonna search. Add. I should have did it the other way and chain blocked it. But honestly, if he's got the ash, he can just ash it. That's fine. He does not have the ash. All right. So we're going to go ahead and grab the gate. He might not even have hand traps. He could have Nibiru. And that's why we're going to stop it right here. Um, so let's go ahead and activate our effect right now. This is summon three. And um, we go ahead and send. Uh, we're gonna have to modify the level. No, we're not. Cause I can go and search it. Yeah. So uh, your opponent can activate cards in the hand or graveyard. So now we're gonna go ahead and activate this. Debate, search the deck. Let's grab this. And then we're just gonna go ahead. Link two. Electric Boogaloo. Alright, here we go. Get out the Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh effect activates. And summons out. Or not summon, sets the scales with a Ragnarok and a Rage. So the Raging Ragnarok. I will take that special summon. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and, um, not yet, we're gonna go ahead and normal summon too. And then we're gonna go ahead and synchro summon. And get the sick free. Let's go. Let's go. You can't activate your hand traps, buddy. Here's sick free for you. Then I'm not done. Ragnarok. The effect, baby. The effect, baby. Ragnarok. All right. Now, Pendulum Summon. Not you. Time to Pendulum Summon. Nice. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and overlay. So good. So good. All right, here's Caesar. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna overlay one more time. We're gonna overlay one more time, hit him for a thousand damage. And then we're gonna link this off. And uh you hit him, send this off. Hit him for a thousand. Bam! This is literally full combo right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and link one more time. And then bring out Gilgamesh. Only thing I don't have is XC's import. That's the only thing I don't have. XC's import we had this completed. And then you're gonna activate King Tail. King Tail is gonna tell you about it. He's gonna put a double D swirl slime in the grave. And we're gonna use that double D swirl slime. And then we're gonna summon out um, your boy uh, Genghis. So check me out. Summon out Genghis. Nice. Summon. Then one more Xyz for the High King Caesar. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. On this first turn, I negated my opponent's ability to play hand traps. On this first turn, I have summoned Wave King High Caesar 
and summoned out Siegfried. And I have a live Triple D Abyss King Gilgamesh with one card in hand, my boy. That is what I like to call value. That is what I like to call maximum profit. And that is how you truly capture a plus two off of Gilgamesh, my boy. No hand traps. Whatever hand traps he has in his hands are now bricks, unless it's an imperm, which would be disgusting. But I can still negate the imperm with Siegfried. So you have to have imperm and something else. So this is a uh, pretty good. This is a pretty good setup. Right now I've got two negates for special summons, one negate for spell traps, and then of course I have two special summons, which is going to be um, uh, if my field blows up, basically. What does this do? It says activate this card and add a Uriah. What? Once per turn, you can discard one card and special summon one fiend token once per turn if you control a level 10 monster uh you can do that that's fine that's definitely fine all right what this boy do he better not say special summon du -du 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 -du. during your main phase you can normal summon one fiend zero zero oh shit that means he's gonna be able to normal summon a big fiend uh, thing. He's gonna summon Hamon. Actually, if he summons Hamon, I'll we'll have fun with Hamon. Actually, <laughs> if he summons out a Hamon, that would be funny. I did not recognize. Or oh well, what are you doing? You're trying to special summon. Stop it! I don't even have to read that card. Just stop. Whatever it is, stop. This man tried to special summon in my presence, in the presence of a high king. Stop. No. Negate. It's like, bruh. All right, let's see what else you got. You can have that token, you fool. Like, if this is his only spell, I would be disgusted. Because I literally thought he played this to bait me. Like, you know. I mean, this is pretty This is pretty good, I guess, for his deck. So, yeah. <laughs> he's, but he's already fulfilled this thing. He's added a card, and he summoned a guy. So, he is going to get to summon that Hamon. When he summons the Hamon, I guess he's going to run this over. Because I've already shown him what it can do. What? Proxy Magician? Bruh, you about to be surprised. He's going to be surprised. He's going to be surprised. Proxy F Magician. <laughs> Proxy F in the chat Magician. You about to be out of here, bro. You about to be out of here. <laughs> Proxy Magician. What are you doing? So you can fusion summon one monster from the extra deck. Well, it says fusion summon. It doesn't say special summon. And then it says you can special summon one card with a thousand or less. Jesus Christ. I, actually, I don't know how this deck works. All right. What are you doing? What is this? Your opponent cannot target Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Uh, with card effects, the monster is destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Oh, yeah. I, okay, I'll put the smack down on that for sure. We're going to stop that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have hit this, but I imagined he was going to play this, and then I was going to say, negate it, and then he's like, right, Geki. And then I'm like, oh, like, that's what I thought he was going to do. But even if he did, oh, that was pathetic, bro. He's out of here. He's out of here. Draw. He's out of here. All right, so in situations like this, our rage is going to stop this damage, and then we can't stop that back row with this card alone. But I like to just put on more pressure, so now it's time to go into uh, the high, uh, the high Genghis. So this is gonna activate. Real simple and easy, simple and clean. About to get him out of here. Oh, he can Ash actually. That's funny. Now he can Ash. <laughs> yeah, now you can Ash. <laughs> you Ash when I give permission, my boy. 
So we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, uh, Vice Typhon. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and I can still stop a Nibiru too. That's kind of funny. He might even have Max C, which is like even funnier too. Um, no, I'm not gonna blow my own cards up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is summon out the um, uh, the arc. Because basically, we're gonna get two summons off of this because we're sending Vice Typhon. So here's the arc. Uh, we're not gonna summon from the grave because that's gonna half damage for him. And we're not gonna let him off the hooks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Vice Typhon real quick. Yes, sir. Vice Typhon from the grave. And we're gonna bring out that High Genghis. Get this man nice and clapped. Get him nice and clapped. Send him back to where he came from. Either he doesn't know that I've got this game in the bag, or, you know, he really thinks that back row is gonna save him, whatever it is. And that is actually delusional. He can't be saved, not at this point. It's already too late. All right, here's Gilgamesh. Then we're gonna use the high boys effect. And then, uh, I guess I didn't have to do this, but uh, yeah, bring this guy back. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to. Now I'm just stunting. Now I'm just BMing. Go ahead and special summon another monster. All right, uh, let's just end this man. Take his life points. What I could have did actually, could have brought this back and, and got some uh, got some work off of it and got a. Uh, I watch him a jig, but it doesn't matter. Attack him, Siegfried. Destroy that monster. Well, boy, time to say goodnight. I'm attacking with the High King Caesar. <laughs> Fool. Handle the light work, Siegfried. We're handling that light work. Silence. You're in the presence of a true king. <laughs> very satisfying, very satisfying. Oh, this is a pretty good opening hand, actually. Um, and we should be able to avoid hand traps. Let's put out this Genghis. Banish one from the grave. Special summon. Bring back DD Evil. This is only in here because we don't have like other level fours. Like this is just a decent like level four to have. We're gonna send DD Evil to the grave. Your opponent cannot activate cards in the hand. So there you go, turn them off. And then now we're safe to activate Dark Contract with the gate. So your opponent can't do anything about it. And it's, it's like no lag, it's just perfect. It's just like, ah, I can finally duel in peace. <laughs> Yeah, we need to bring something back from the grave. So I need to get the four, actually. Since we need to bring back the Genghis, we need to put uh, Ragnarok in the scale. So you play a Go, then you play the Ragnarok. You take your uh, G, and um, do I summon the boy? Uh, nah. And then, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, let's do this. Pendulum Shokan, DDD Evil, and the Orthros. So the cool thing about this is like Ash and all that stuff is kind of useless in like like afterwards, like if you've got to do everything. So uh, it's really easy basically to get your opponent nice and tilted. <laughs> in, in short. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and exceed. Really, really good. All right, here's the wave king Caesar. Bring out the king tail. Let me talk to him. Evil. All right. Then he takes that spanking. Uh, Link off again. And then dump from the deck. We're going to dump that. Then we're going to activate in the grave. The Genghis. So this is gonna stop him from doing any special summons. And 
then we'll get our search if he kills the Gilgamesh. And they get the attack boost. Should be fine. Go ahead. So definitely he has some hand traps. I wasn't able to, like when I played the card, obviously, I felt that there was like some interaction, but once I activated the effect and turned off the hand trap, they're off. Oh, okay, well, there goes my back row. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that was not a hand trap. Harpy's Feather Duster. You know my scales. Cyber Dragon. Oh, that's gonna be funny. Oh, okay, he's doing that. I don't think I get the effect because it was like yeeted off the field. I got scammed, kind. Oh, he's gonna power bond. That's gonna be funny. Cannot be used as a fusion material. Uh, let's do this. Let's do some lightning above. Self under attack. Okay. Do Cyber Dragon have some kind of weird contact fusion? I don't know about. Well, that's not gonna go down, sir. <laughs> that's not happening, sir. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? That's not happening, sir. No way. No way. Those other two cards are hand traps, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Like he's really gonna do this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? That works? How can that work? What? How can that work? What? How can that work? When that, oh, that's crazy. Because this does not special summon. This just copies a spell. But since it copies a spell and then that copy spell special summons, I can't negate the way of King Caesar. Very clever. Very clever. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. But you know, unless he's got some other kind of special summon dream, you know that's gonna stop. Well, boy. Reckoning. That all. Hmm. All right, so here we go. Summon out the Genghis. And then we're not gonna need this anymore because we're about to OTK. Oh, 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 OTK. Let's get that W. All right, so we're gonna have to chain block some stuff. So first, we're gonna search. Then we're going to set the scale and then we're going to bring back a monster from the grave. Yes, sir. Beat stick. Hoo I think Caesar has returned. And now Gilgamesh sets the scale. Set to. Set to. Set to. Uh, 10 and what? No! No, I clicked the, no! <laughs> no, I hit the wrong scale. But I technically do have a summon here though. I did click the wrong scale, but I do have a summon. <laughs> I did click the wrong scale though. That was my bad. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that at all. Yeah, uh, when this card's normal special summon, no, we're not gonna bring nothing back. We don't wanna half damage uh, this turn. We wanna win this duel. All right, we're gonna send this to the grave and we're gonna go ahead and banish this. Then we're gonna activate our spell. All right, here we go. Time to finish this up. Wrap it up. Wrap up the duel in epic fashion. All right, we're gonna banish one. We're gonna banish two. Now I'm coming for you. Let's do this. All right. Summon the ultimate Ragnarok. Battle time. Attack. 
Use my monster's effect. Get over here, brother. Nice. <laughs> Attack him, my beast. That's satisfying. <laughs> 